I'm sorry, Doctor, but we'll need your help in the lab. Greetings, people. I come in peace. Just listen to the press conference by Usyk's team to explain the postponement of the undisputed fight between himself and Tyson Fury. They were very professional. They didn't stick the boot in. They mainly spoke about the inconvenience of the situation. Usyk having to extend his camp for the third time, having a new baby, having 20 different sparring partners for that camp and now having to get more in for this one. Usyk said he laughed when he heard of the postponement. I could only imagine that giggle with a shake of the head and a sigh of resignation. <laughs> He's definitely getting fed up. He's human after all. But he knows this is what Fury wants to do to him. He wants Usyk to move on so he can call him a coward. Usyk is determined to stay on his neck. When asked if Tyson Fury was scared of him, he said yes. Like he said before, of course he's scared. Do you think he's scared? Yeah, of course. Of course. Greedy belly, afraid. I can see he's scared. Usyk has stood and looked in his eyes many times. He knows he's scared. And that's what Tyson Fury resents. Usyk sees through him. Usyk sees him. People seem to have a problem with saying Fury is scared of Usyk. They usually say he's not scared of Usyk, but he's scared to lose to Usyk. Is there a difference? Look, if he's scared to lose his O to Usyk, then he realizes that Usyk has the ability to beat him, maybe soundly. That means he's scared of Usyk. It's not rocket science. Stop whining and ducking. Be a man in the contract or vacate the belt. I need and dispute it. And not to play your stupid games. Let's stop the rhetoric. He didn't give Chisora the runaround because he's not scared of him. Or Wilder because he's not scared of those type of fighters. He is scared of fighters that can move and have good boxing fundamentals. So he's definitely scared of an artist like Usyk. Igus Klimas went on to say, Who does Fury think he is? He calls people this and he calls people that. Blah, 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 blah. Then he gets called a coward and everybody's shocked. Who does he think he is? Aegis also said the remark he made about bitches and frying pan was not aimed at his wife, but at people in Fury's camp. As I said in my last video, I think it was just lost in translation. The usual and the unusual suspects have been running interference for Fury, saying he's not a coward. He's not scared. He wouldn't do anything to scupper the fight. <sighs> when will they learn? I saw an argument with Johnny Nelson and Spencer Ferron. I couldn't believe my ears. He was calling Johnny a hater just for telling the truth about what he heard about the Fury camp and the Usyk camp. To be honest, I didn't listen to the whole thing because it was cringe-worthy and just plain silly. Spencer Ferron was embarrassing. Really was. Number one, it's not his job to be a cheerleader for Fury. Especially when he has no dog in the fight, far as I know. I said the mainstream media would cushion or try to cushion the onslaught of the dissatisfaction from the boxing fan. I find it incredibly condescending to try to subvert what we can all see with our own eyes. It's as if they are the grown-ups and we are the little ones that need bottle feeding. Enabling and facilitating the unreasonable behavior of Fury is incongruent. When will they learn? He is the culprit and perpetrator of this transmogrification of boxing. By the way, it was Usyk's team who suggested the penalty if Fury pulled out again. And Turkey announced it, including both teams. Someone in my last comments, I can't remember your name. They rightly said, they can't take it out of the purse if they don't fight. And no one is going to voluntarily give up 10 million if they don't have to. It's an empty threat. I can't see them implementing it. Anyway, I think interest for the fight is waning. Most people don't think it's going to happen. If it does, it does. You can't blame people for not being invested in this fight anymore. It's doubtful the cup will heal in time, but we'll have to see. Fury should be made champion in recess and allow someone else to fight for the belts. And then Fury can go on holiday, 
drink some beer, enjoy his family, relax, smoke cigars and spend his money. He's clearly not up for this one. So he can bow out with his pride intact and when he's ready, come back to fight for the belt or belts. Anyway, thanks for listening. Please subscribe and remember, choose life. Where emotion is involved, evidence is not required.